Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning, and I am headed out right now to bring the dogs to the groomer, and then I have to get some groceries. It's been a little bit chaotic. <laughs> we got home from Great Wolf Lodge last night, and we just went to Applebee's for dinner, and just having not been home all weekend, the house has really been neglected, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little messy house tour. I know sometimes that makes people feel better about where they're at <laughs> when they see my chaos and disaster here, but um, I have to get the dogs to the groomers probably within the next half an hour, so I don't have very much time to do any of it now. So I'm going to kind of just leave everything, drop them off, get some food, and then I will tackle this house when I get back. So we had a great weekend. If you guys saw my weekend vlog, Great Wolf Lodge was so much fun. Madison had a great birthday party and we really enjoyed it. I love going there. I just think it's so cute. I haven't been there in a really long time since my other two were little, so it was just kind of fun going back. And that's it, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> it was a pretty hectic weekend, but we're gonna get through this. It's a rainy, dreary, and dark day, but I'm gonna get the groceries, clean the house, and then I will feel much better. So let me turn the camera around and show you my messy house tour. <laughs> Okay, so I still have a bunch of like party food that I need to put away. I'm gonna dump that soda. And we have all of these donuts from over the weekend. I have to put away the birthday candle. Some of my friends were so funny. They got me wine for uh, taking their children to Great Wolf Lodge. So this one friend of mine got me these two, the Mad Housewife Merlot. And then this, I'm not sure what, kind of wine this is if it's like a Zippendel or I don't know but that was really nice of her and then I have a lot of dishes to deal with and put away I still I know last week I told you guys I had to clean out the fridge well that never happened and this is where we're at so the one thing I want to do before I bring the dogs to the groomer is at least throw out all of these leftovers so that I have some more space in the fridge for groceries and now dog's hard at work here all right so the dining room isn't too bad oh look patrick's school picture came in the mail this weekend look at how handsome and grown up he is so cute his freshman picture and here's my other hard-working dog <laughs> all cozied up on the couch good morning leo all right so I mean, it's not too bad in here. I just have some things to pick up. Of course, all of the dog toys that they took out this morning and put the pillows back on the couches, stuff like that. Didn't even make my bed yet. Let's go upstairs and see the disaster up there. Look at all of these hardworking animals. <laughs> okay, so I still need to make my bed and just like tidy up some clutter and stuff in here. Bathroom isn't too bad. I was drinking my coffee while I was getting ready this morning. Put away the brush and i brought home a few of the great wolf lodge <laughs> little toiletries this is like all they give you they really don't give you very much there and then i already have a load going and then i have one two three more loads to go in today so i'm going to be very busy with laundry Okay, so that's a little bit better. At least I have some room for food now. And I'm just going to bring one of these Velveeta cereal bars with me because I have not yet had an opportunity to eat. So, getting the dogs in the car and I am headed out for the morning. I just have to share with you something that just happened to me. And I'm sorry if my phone is shaking because I am like shaking right now. I went grocery shopping and I actually did really good. You can see maybe a little bit in my back seat there. I used my reusable shopping bags. I remembered them and I had a nice chat with the woman at the checkout and I had great parking and I'm just like so shooken up. So I was putting my groceries in the trunk and I put my purse down and I was getting ready to get in my car and to the side of me, there was this couple fighting and I heard the girl screaming and she's trying to get in the car as the car is driving away and she's holding on to the car door, which is wide open and the car is dragging her and her boyfriend just like takes off, just totally takes off. She's laying in the parking lot, shattered phone, purse spilled all over the parking lot. And <laughs> I'm just like, is this actually happening right now? It's like, 
10.30 in the morning. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. And I went over and I tried to help her to see what was wrong. Her, her lip was bleeding because he had punched her in the face. Like this it was so horrible. I'm not used to seeing things like this. So I said, do you want me to call 911? Should I get help? Are you hurt? And she's like, yeah, call the cops, call the cops. So I called 911. And then at this point, thank goodness, a couple of other people came over because I'm starting to think, and I know this is horrible, like I'm trying to be a good Samaritan, but at the same time, trying to not put myself in danger. And my daughter, Emily, had told me there is a thing where people create these scenes where obviously most people would run to them to try to help, but then they end up being like, you know, you get close to the person and they attack you, they throw you in the car, human trafficking, or they, you know, when you go away from your car, they get into your car. And I, I don't know, there's like all these scenarios. And I have that in the back of my mind because I'm scared. Like it's just not a normal situation. So a couple of other people came over and I don't know if you guys have ever called 911, but when you call, they ask you a million questions. So they're asking me for a description and the location and all these questions. And now she's getting aggravated with me because she changed her mind and didn't want to get the cops involved. So she's like, are you on the phone with the cops? I don't want the cops involved. I'm not doing filling out a report. And then she starts getting like irate with me. But now I'm on the phone with 911. If I hang up, they're coming and looking for me. I'm their only <laughs> contact. So now I'm involved. Oh boy. So I said to the operator, She's becoming irate. She changed her mind, doesn't want me to report this to you. I'm going to my car. I'm going in my car and I'll finish giving you the description and I'm I'm leaving. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just here to get groceries. <laughs> I want to go home. I'm scared. I don't know if her boyfriend's crazy. Is he gonna come back with a gun and shoot me? Cause I'm the one dialing 911 and reporting this. So anyway. I finished talking to them. I saw that she was sitting on a bench now, you know, right outside of the store. And there were a couple of other people with her, like an, an older man was with her talking. I called them. I made sure she was okay. She was all right. She was sitting down, just kind of composing herself. And that's what happened. So would you guys like to see my grocery haul now? Oh my goodness. Again, I'm sorry. Is my phone shaking? All right. I'll see you guys inside. Okay, so I'm gonna do this super quick because it's been sitting way too long. I have a chicken to make chicken salad, pumpkin pie for Patrick in case he's feeling better because that's his favorite and I feel bad for him. I have a chicken roast, a turkey breast tenderloin, a pork tenderloin, and then meatloaf mix. I might be making that tonight and then I'll be making these throughout the week. Um, I have some cold cuts and regular chicken breast, some healthy chips. I have the blue chips and the pretzel crisps and pirate booty. And then I have some granola bars, picked up some Halloween candy. I know that's gonna be a mistake. <laughs> some salad, uh, chocolate pudding and jello, and my favorite yogurt here, bananas. And then I have asparagus and sweet potatoes to go with dinners as well. I have some of the unsweetened almond milk. I got more Malamars, I'm stocking up because they only sell them for a certain amount of time. Corn and uh, kidney beans for chili when I make that. And then I have some milk and cream cheese, some more yogurt, and then I have acorn squash and um, butternut squash also to go with dinners. And then I already said salad, my Caesar salad kit. And then over here, I have broccoli, avocado, strawberries. Um, I have the Thomas English muffins, like the king size ones. And then for taco night, I have some guacamole and some fresh salsa some more ch uh, chips the sweet potato ones are really good and my daughter likes the sour cream ones and then i just have some pasta and cornbread and life cereal and golden grams and some more uh chili crock pot seasoning <sighs> okay <laughs> i think that's everything and i have to get to putting all of this away I knew getting the Halloween candy early was going to be a mistake because as you can see, <laughs> I've already gotten into it. I really like the, it's like the white chocolate Kit Kats. They're orange, but it's basically white chocolate and they're so good. So yeah, after my uh, <laughs> traumatic experience, I needed some chocolate. So that's what I had. So my daughter Emily and her friend came home for lunch because she's a senior now. She's able to come home for lunch a lot of the time. So I had lunch with them. I put away the groceries. 
but I have not done anything else yet today. I've been out all morning, so I have to move the laundry, still tidy up the living room, take care of all the dishes, and I really want to um, get some editing done today. So that's what I'm doing. I think I'm going to maybe just take a little break and edit some of what I've done today anyway, just because I feel like I need to just sit down for a little while and take a breather. And then I will uh, get back to my household chores because there is a lot of them today. So I just broke another glass. <laughs> I have broken so many glasses over the last couple of weeks. I don't even hardly have any at all left, but this was a his and her wine glass that we had. And now that his one is completely shattered. I grabbed one of these free little flyers from ShopRite this morning when I went grocery shopping, my big adventure of the day. <laughs> and they have some really cute recipes in here. I want to show you the one because it's a Halloween recipe, but it's like relatively healthy. And usually Halloween recipes are like candy or cupcakes, but this is guacamole, Franken guac. <laughs> I just thought that was a really good idea. I might make this. So it's avocado, lime juice, taco sauce, non-fat Greek yogurt, and I'm not gonna do mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. Hmm, I'll have to find a replacement for that. But then you do an olive and then the blue corn tortillas. So I just thought that was really cute. So the dogs are back from the groomers. Chester, sit. Let's take a good look at you. Good boy. Look at you all nice and clean. Let's look at Leo. <laughs> Leo just drank some water, so his chin is all wet. But he's nice and clean too. Nice and fluffy. Leo is so extra fluffy when he gets back from the groomers. I love it and he smells so good. Okay, so the dogs are home from the groomers. I am about to make dinner. Madison has ballet tonight followed by cheer and cheer is going to have a meeting and it's going to be in regards to what I talked about the other day, all of the drama. So I'm not looking forward to that. I actually might not even show up for it to be honest with you <laughs> because um, I know that Madison did nothing wrong and I know that I did nothing wrong and I really just I don't have the time for the nonsense. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if I'm going to make an appearance or not. It just kind of depends on how my night goes. And I'm making a special dinner for Patrick tonight because he's feeling so much better. So he wanted meatloaf. That's his favorite. So I'm going to make that followed by some pumpkin pie. So it should be a good dinner. I'm gonna get that together while I have time now before we have our running around to do. So I'm gonna share with you guys my grandma's famous meatloaf recipe. It is very basic, but also it is really good. Everyone always seems to like it a lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is grate an onion in here and then two eggs. And then I like this meatloaf pan because everything drips to the bottom, all of the extra grease. And the trick really is to have good meat. So this is just basic meatloaf mix. It's beef and pork. If you just use ground beef, I find that it's a little bit more dense. It comes out a lot better this way, I feel like. And sometimes I think there's veal in it as well but today I just have the beef and pork. And then you use about one and a half to um, one and three quarters cup of plain breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and parsley. And then I always serve it with mashed potatoes and corn. Of course, my grandma would have made homemade mashed potatoes. I don't think she's ever used this instant stuff, but <laughs> I do because I always have a million places to be on a school night. So I'm going to put that all together. I put it on the bowl and I actually use my hands to mix it all up and make it into like a nice big loaf. And then I'll put it in the pan and cook it at 350 for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half, just depending. There's quite a bit of meat here. So 
I might have to cook it um, on the longer side. All right, so I'm gonna get that put together before I head off to dance class. So currently in here, I just have the two eggs, the grated onion, and the chopped meat. So I'm going to actually mix it by hand. I know like some people are freaked out by this, but I also like to do a uh, cookie dough like this a lot of times. I just feel like the texture is often better if you hand mix it. So I'm gonna get that all mushed up together and then I'll add in the dry ingredients. So now I put all the dry ingredients in. I have the breadcrumbs, the parsley, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna mix that by hand and make it into a nice big loaf and then I'll put it in the pan. And then once I have it done, I actually sprinkle a little bit more of the um, parsley flakes on top and it is good to go. I hope that I can maybe get a couple of meals out of this because this is really a lot of meat here. So hopefully we'll use half of it tonight and then I'll be able to freeze the other half for another time. So that's done. It's just about 4.30. I have to leave in 15 minutes for dance and I have not folded any laundry yet today. So I'm gonna spend 15 minutes folding and then I'll be headed out. Madison, are you all ready for dance and cheer? Yeah, playing with your new slime that you got for your birthday? Finished off another box of Malamars, I say. Yeah. <laughs> How many did you eat? Madison six. Rose, six Malamars is a lot. You should have a healthy snack after school. <laughs> all right, let's get going. Lemon juice, and from Aldi, I get, or at least maybe half of it, because that's a lot of chicken. So what I've been doing lately is separating the dogs at dinner time. So I have Leo's bowl here. He actually just finished eating, because Chester, eats all of Leo's food and Leo is such a big baby he'll just let him take it and he'll be sad about it and hungry <laughs> but he'll just step away and let Chester eat all of his dinner and Leo's too which is why believe it or not Chester weighs about seven more pounds than Leo does as big as Leo looks he doesn't weigh near as much just checking on the meatloaf it smells amazing it's been cooking about an hour already so probably about another 20 to 30 minutes and that'll be done and then i just have to heat up the corn that's all ready to go and then i have to boil water with butter and then i just dump in the flakes and the milk and then the mashed potatoes will be done as well and now i have to put all the dishes away from this morning so it is 6 25 the meatloaf has been in here almost two hours i just put it up to the top rack because it grew so much that it started hitting like the bars above it. Um, I knew it was a really big piece of meat. So it has been two hours already and it's still not done. So the meatloaf turned out really good, but unfortunately Patrick was so excited for dinner and he kept asking me when it was gonna be done and he was so hungry for it. And then when he sat down, he started to feel sick again. So I'm gonna wrap this up for him. And then here is the rest of it. So we have Half of it is still left, so I'm gonna wrap that up and freeze it probably for another time. And guess what, more dishes to do. <laughs> and then I have to go ahead and put away all the laundry. Okay guys, thank you so much for following me around today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope that you are enjoying Vlogtober. If you are, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell notification up top so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I think the month of October, I'm pretty much uploading every single day because I'm uploading every day of the week, but then on the weekends, even though I'm doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, on a Monday video, I'm trying to have my other videos, just like the videos that I would have in October anyway, on Saturday and or Sunday. So you're gonna, you're gonna really see a lot of me <laughs> this month and I hope that's a good thing. So I guess that I will say good night here and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.